Hi folks, uh, yesterday we thought a little bit about uh, the idea of God as our shepherd and in many ways the Old Testament is the story of the, like, the search for the shepherd, the, 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 this good shepherd who's going to lead um, God's people and, and David is this king and he's kind of this, this great shepherd and he shepherds God's people and the Old Testament tells us that and, and there are bad shepherds and those who, who want to lead God's people astray and there's this whole narrative of searching for the shepherd. And then we get to the New Testament and we see Jesus. And of course, Jesus is the good shepherd. Jesus is the chief shepherd as well. Uh, but particularly, Jesus is the good shepherd. And we see that um, especially in John chapter 10. In John chapter 10, we get this whole thing about the good shepherd who truly cares for the sheep. There are hired hands and there are there are wolves and there are, there are imposters. Um, but then there's the good shepherd, the genuine shepherd, who cares for his sheep. And the kind of summary of that is John chapter 10, verse 11. Jesus says, it's one of the great I am statements of John. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for for the sheep, you can imagine it, can't you? The shepherds in those days were a dangerous occupation. Uh, it's a very smelly occupation as well, but they, they, uh, they were in danger. There were wolves, there were thieves, um, and they had to protect the sheep. Uh, and, and here we're told that the good shepherd will lay down his life for the sheep. And of course, Jesus is talking about his great sacrifice for us on the cross where he lays down his life for his sheep. Now, what leader do you know that would do that? Jesus is our great good shepherd who goes as far as to give up his own life, his perfect life, the life of the eternal son in human flesh. He gives up his life for his sheep, for you and me.